greenhouse chemistry. In this movie clip we'll be looking at the reaction of some magnesium ribbon with three acids. We've got hydrochloric acid from a domestic cleaner, distilled white vinegar, ethanoic acid then, and some jiffy lemon juice, citric acid. Let's have a look at the reaction of the magnesium with the three acids. So in all three cases, you should be able to see that the uh, magnesium is floating. Let's just give them a little swirl. And it's sunk in the ethanoic acid, up, up it comes with the bubbles again. So we've got bubbles in all three cases. So the magnesium is reacting with all three acids. As we've seen before, the domestic cleaner has got some surfactant agents in it and it's producing a rather thick foam, whereas the vinegar, no foam but plenty of bubbles, <coughs> and the citric acid in the Jiffy lemon juice somewhere in between. Probably the lemon juice uh, constituents helping to form that foam there. Well, one of the questions is, can we trap enough gas to test with a lighted splint? So let's try putting a finger over the edge top of uh, one of the containers, the ethanoic acid here. The volume in the headspace of each bottle is much greater than the amount of gas that's being produced, such that I can feel no additional pressure on my finger from the gas. If it is hydrogen, we'd expect it to rise up the to the top of the bottle and perhaps give a positive test with a lit splint. Well, we've been going for a minute or so here. Uh, let's give it a go with a splint and see if we can detect any hydrogen. So here's the splint and, and we've got a reassuring positive hydrogen test there. I'm not sure that uh, putting my finger on either of the other two will have much of an effect because the gas seems to be trapped in the foam there. Uh, let's just try, I don't think this is going to do anything now. So the next thing of course is to what happens if the splint goes down into the foam. Oh quite a reassuring little pop there from the citric acid but the industrial cleaner no, not enough gas produced there to get a reaction. So that's magnesium with three different acids, hydrochloric acid, ethanoic acid and citric acid, and testing the gas produced 
in each case. Positive test with a lighted splint. The gas burns with a pop. So proof that that gas is hydrogen.